Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Classroom of the Elite Season 3, Episode 4. In the last episode, I've not actually got much to say about the last episode. Um, main thing is that uh, Ichinose is, uh, well we found out she is a quote-unquote criminal. Um, probably by Japan's standards it might be a massive deal, or by this school standards it might be a massive deal. What she does, she apparently shoplifts, or apparently does it a lot. Um, so yeah, they're, they're kind of like holding this information over her, Arisu, and um, yeah, we're going to see how that turns out, um, how Ayn Koji's going to react to this, or what, she, what he's going to do about the situation, we will see. Uh, yeah, as always guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. And what are you calling me for? What? She's got chocolate, is it Valentine's Day? What is it? What's going on? Why does everybody look so depressed? Oh, it's definitely Valentine's Day, isn't it? Now it's time to see the fruits of Ayana Koji's labor. See how many random girls give him chocolate today. Would Harikita actually get Ayana Koji chocolate? Your true self? <laughs> yeah, he didn't give a fuck. Is that boy that was getting led astray by Arisu in the last episode gonna get one? Yeah, that must be it. Just cope harder, bro. It, oh yeah, of course. Of course. That's too much. Has she? Hmm. Isn't she now working with the current student council president, though? I don't like this. <laughs> Unusually assertive today. <laughs> oh, oh, poor lapdog. What's this pretty boy want? So they weren't actually meeting up with these guys? They just randomly met up with each other? Yeah. Personal favorite. Yeah, y'all really should not have been saying this in front of this guy. Oh, maybe people are starting to figure out Aina Koji's him here. Oh, you, you're probably just overthinking it. He's just a regular student. Yeah, nah, it's fine. You wouldn't want that? Um, well... I wish it could be summer already. January fucking sucks. <laughs> it could have been any day. No, 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 no specific reason. This number? What is it, a phone number? It's not... I was going to say, it's not going to be anything to do with Valentine's Day. I can't allow you into our study group, yeah? You're going to give him chocolate? Just do it. Give you a little quiz? What? February 14th. <laughs> That's the question. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> of course not. A man caught out for zeros. What do you mean by that? Emergency backup? Yeah, I'm sure it is, bro. That's about as interesting as it'll get. Wait, do they know they're being... Oh. Oh, okay. Wow. Was it just Aina Koji that recognized they were being followed? Or was it Kay as well? It seemed like Aina Koji kind of gave her the signal that they were being followed, but maybe Kay saw him as well. He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, and? Mm, maybe. What's so special about Aina Koji? Yeah, a random guy, yeah. But now anytime you two meet up, this guy's gonna be watching like a hawk. Okay, uh, Kay's getting pretty good at lying in the moment. 
Oh yeah, that's good. What are they going with here? Oh? Okay. <laughs> Who's the scapegoat here? Yeah. <laughs> Good lie. 10 out of 10. But again, like, if he ever sees you two get together again, like, this, this, this plan falls through. Yeah? What the fuck? Is this part of his plan? There's no way he actually likes her. Oh, what if this guy's the contact number? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, she got more chocolate. That's hilarious. I knew he would. It was his little harem. So did he have all that chocolate in his bag when he was speaking to Kay, or was this just on the way home he got that? That's funny. Is this uh, Horikita sauce? Oh no, it's not. Oh, She sounds like sick or dazed. Oh, she is sick. Oh, is that what? Is that why he was cooking what he was cooking there? Like rice pudding or something? <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> The Japanese high school student is sick and now they're like fading away. Any Koji doesn't seem like the type to get sick, not gonna lie. I think he's built different all, all, all the way through. I wonder if she got like sick because of the stress. But not Ayana Koji. Yeah, that's what you do for your depressed friend? My god. Yeah, she's strong. Yeah, literally. She probably got sick because of the stress. Oh god, what now? Wait. Let's have a study meeting to prepare for the test. Ainokoji has a crush on K. Honda Ryoto is only into fat girls? What the fuck? Wait, there's more? I don't know that she knows like it was a prostitute in middle school. Brother. So that hates on the dinner. Bro, the fuck is this, man? Is this all true? Wait, so if if this is like uh, the Ichinose rumor and this is all true, who was the prostitute? Hondo. Oh, is this the dude that was apparently into fat girls? Are these only rumors about Class 1C? Oh, her, okay. Yeah, you're gonna piss off a lot of people in your class, bro. You chill. Why is he being such a dick about this? Is he. Is Arisu put him up to this or something? Why? You are being such a dickhead, bro. This is why you get zero bitches. Once again. Well, we've confirmed two of these to be true. Now. Yeah, so we've confirmed two of these to be true just from the look on these two people's faces about the girl, uh, the dude uh, who apparently likes fat girls and the girl here who doesn't like the certain person. I can't remember, like, names in this show are so complicated for, like, uh, background characters. I always forget who's who. Um, so, yeah, and then going off of, like, the Ainokoji and K rumor, which to us is obviously not true, but... Um, Interesting. Like, it, it, the timing, you'd think it was the guy from 1A, but I don't think it's that obvious. I think it's more likely this this dickhead from 1C and Arisu, since Arisu is obviously the one who spread uh, the rumor about Ichinose. Bit of an odd situation, and it's fucked up. Like, how how they even know this stuff, especially the girl who was apparently a prostitute in middle school. And that, I, I don't even want to dive into that. That's probably some fucked up shit. Um, if that's true, but yeah, uh, interesting ends of the episode, um, seems to only be aimed at 1C students, so I don't know, Addy Sue pulling the strings here, yeah, I don't know what's going on, but yeah, overall, a very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next, anyway guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction, have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.